Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. This one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Earl, the true Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA world title. And then we have Ryan, or should I say King Ryan Garcia, one of the hottest young fighters in the game at the lightweight division. His name is buzzing in these streets. But King Ryan showed up like a man. Pay Earl Spence his 20 bands that he owed to him after betting with Earl the True Spence Jr. that Rolly Romero was going to beat Javante Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? EJ said right there, holding that boy's hand, say, okay, don't play with the bands now. That boy betted Earl Spence 20 bands that Rolly Romero was going to beat Javante Tank Davis. Can y'all really believe that shit? And Ryan and Rolly wasn't even friends like that. You feel me? They don't even like each other for real. You know what I'm saying? And you sat there and better Earl the True Spence Jr., a motherfucking winner who don't lose 20 bandos, 20 straight up, no Vegas odds, no nothing, that Rolly Romero was going to beat Javante Tank Davis. Yeah, Ryan was here and slipped and bumped his motherfucking head, everybody. Yeah, he is having some type of anxiety. He having something that's going on with him. And EJ did the right thing by holding his hand, getting it on camera, and shaking that motherfucker. You see a dummy, you bump his head. You feel me? You see a dummy, you bump his mother, mother head. Now, I don't know if Ryan Garcia was sipping and dipping and whipping. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck he was going through that night, he was feeling good. Whatever you was doing, Ryan, you was feeling good. Boy, you was feeling too damn good to bet 20 bandy bonds, 20 bonds, right? Like Jack say, I mean, sorry, like Drake would say, you owe me 20 bonds, right? On somebody that you don't even like. You really thought that boy was going to be fucking tank, bro? Or was it you was trying to be too goddamn cool? You know how somebody get around somebody like, you know, you right there, you chilling, the homies down there and shit, then, you know, cat walk up, he want to be too damn cool. What's up, bro, Dan? What's up, homie? Yeah, you got that? I got that too, bro. Bro, I bet you 20 bands right now, bro. He don't win, bro. Bro, I bet you 20 bands right now. You want to bet me 20 bands? You looking at him like a stupid motherfucker, like, bro, you really want to bet me 20 bands? Bro, I bet you 20 bands right now, bro, on my mama, good. I bet you, I bet. And ain't no taking no bets back. Once you shake hands, ain't no taking no bets back. I don't give a damn how dumb you is, how stupid you is, how young you is. You walk up betting 20 bands, and you know it's a for show lick, oh, yeah, you're going to get your head busted. And Earl Spence did exactly what he's supposed to do, bust his goddamn head. But either way, he paid up like a man. You dig me? So you got to congratulate Ryan for not capping. Nobody can say Ryan Garcia was capping with Earl Spence. No, Ryan came through. And he paid up like a man. You know, we know Earl Spence posted something on Twitter letting people know, hey, you know, it only cost $30 to, from, from wire to wire. You know, Monday was the holiday, but, you know, it's only cost $30. You know, it shouldn't take that long for we to be doing wire to wire now when you wire that money from one bank to the next. You feel me? That motherfucker ain't hit my bank account yet. You know what I'm saying? You know, EJ put it out there on him, just letting him know, like, okay, we can wait. You know, I ain't going to go full throttle. Just putting it out there because he know the boxing media is going to eat that shit up. Go eat it up. And a lot of people ate it up. Ryan Garcia have not paid Earl Spence his $20,000 yet. <laughs> Ryan looking at that shit like, what the fuck did I get myself into? Looking at his brother, Sean. Sean, why did you let me bet him that $30? Sean looked at him like, I hit your ass with six elbows, motherfucker. You kept talking. I hit you with one elbow. I hit you with two elbows, motherfucker. Three, four, five, six. Like, hey, man, you, cut the fuck out. Stop it, bro. I just asked you for 5000 You told me no. But you finna bet $20,000 on this motherfucking nutcase inside the ring against Javante Tank Davis? This motherfucking knockout killer. We in New York, close to Baltimore. All these screaming fans in this motherfucker for Tank. And you bet 20000 on Roley? On Roley. You got that much confidence in Roley that you didn't put that 20000 in Vegas. And this motherfucker is a plus, whatever he was. And you fit a quadruple this shit. You're gonna be in a hundred, you're gonna be in the six figures. But you fit a bet EJ straight up, a 20 piece, like that. And just throw the money away. So you just throwing money away now, huh? 
You arguing with Oscar De La Hoya for a bigger contract, but now you just coming to this motherfucker just throwing 20 bands away. Like, it ain't shit, huh? You really believe this motherfucker Roddy got a chance like that? This your friend now, y'all best buddies? You T.O. and Roly now, motherfucker? You feel me? But, you know, a man can do what they want to do with their own money. He can take 20, wipe his ass with it, burn it, flush it down the toilet. It's his hard-earned working money, you know what I'm saying? He can do what he want to do. I'm quite sure his daddy, his mama told him that was a dumbass bet. That was the wrong investment. They don't know why he did it. You dig what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you got to pay. You feel me? At the end of the day, you got to pay. You know what I mean? That shit didn't age too well at all, fam. That sixth round came. Tank hit Roly ass with that bazooka. Boom! Roly motherfucker face went into the ropes. He would have went out the ropes if the ropes weren't right there. He hanging out the ropes like more. Y'all see the mean. And when Ryan Garcia seen that shit, he was pissed off like a mother. That's why Ryan went off on that on that dude. When y'all go to see Ryan leaving the stadium, bro, go look at Ryan leaving the stadium. He pushed up on old boy ass talking about Pitbull Crew. Hey, you know that was some bullshit, man. No, fuck you. You know that was some bullshit. I still, I still love you, though, Johnny, but, you know, that was some bullshit. He's ready to knock a motherfucker out. He just thought about it. Why the fuck did I bet that $20,000 on this motherfucker? My stupid ass trying to be too cool. Like I say, when you get around certain people, you want to be too goddamn cool. And Ryan Garcia, you got down there, you wanted to be too goddamn cool. All you had to do was relax, chill out. You're talking to Earl Spence. You're talking to Danny Garcia. You're going at it with Linda L. Be already talking about fuck Golden Boy. Video coming. Right? And you take your ass out there and bet 20 bandy bonds and lost it, homie. Right? Like I say, it's your money. You can do what you want to do with your money. I salute you. I can't say nothing about it. You paid up. And when a man pay their debts, a man gets respect. You feel me? When a man pay their debts, a man gets respect. Especially 20 bands on Roly. You feel me? You probably the motherfucker that better the most out of anybody. I bet you can't find nobody on God's green earth that walked into Vegas, that sat down at the fight, that talked shit on the internet, that went and put $20,000 on Rolando Romero. <laughs> you understand me? Not even Floyd Money Mayweather betting ass. He put 10 on motherfucking Demetri Bivol. He ain't putting no 20 bands on no Roley to beat no tank. The biggest bet that probably went in on Roley in Vegas is probably motherfucking $5,000, bro. Somebody probably put a five piece on Roly. And that probably was Roly. <laughs> That's probably was Roly. Roly probably gave somebody a five piece. I don't really, I don't know. Go take this five. Um, you know, put your money on me. You're going to fucking win. Put your house on me. That motherfucker Roly said people put the house on themselves. That motherfucker want to put $5,000 on himself. You know what I'm saying? So, looking at the situation, man, Ryan Garcia stepped up to the plate. He sent the 20 bands through the wire. Y'all see it right there. He told Earl Spence to post this. Earl Spence put it down there. Hey, y'all. Ryan Garcia paid me, man, like a man. He got the handshake down there. Good business. You know what I'm saying? They know they're saying Dallas Square business. You know, we, we say stand on business. And he did all three. You know what I'm saying? It was good business for EJ. EJ bumped the fool head, took that bag, right? It was square business for EJ. And people were standing on business all around the world, man. So at the end of the day, business is business. It's squash. It's done, right? Now when Roly see Earl Spence, he can say what's up to him. He can shake his hand. You got me for that 20, bro. You got me for that 20. You want to bet on something else? Yeah. I think it's as a thing about it next time, man. So, moral of the story, everybody. Don't ever go out there putting your money on a dumb motherfucker. Um, I don't give a fuck how drunk you is, how good you feeling. Not, not, not saying Ryan Garcia was none of these things, nobody. But I don't give a damn how good you feeling. Don't put no 20 bands on no dumb motherfucker against a superstar like Javante Tank Davis. You feel me? You'll be a fool-ass fool, and you'll be up in the bag, and you'll be wearing 20 bandy bonds like, like Ryan Garcia just did with Earl Spence. But at the end of the day, you know, Ryan got Bridgie. You know what I mean? Some he probably spent on a car, on a girl, on this, on that. We don't know at the end of the day, fam. So salute to him. He paid up like a man. If y'all make a bet, pay your debts. Period. Good shit, EJ. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Anybody safe in these streets? Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate? OG Money on Cash App. TreyHampton52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.